Hey, welcome back, beautiful Sagittarians. Thank you for joining me here, Sag. I was led to um, figure out for some of you that are having money blocks, I want to see how you can remove these, Sagittarius. Money blockages for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Mm. Don't say at a soul-sucking job. Do work that you love. I love my high-paying job. You have to stop saying I can't win. It's not a competition. You've got the eyes on the prize. I can achieve my money goals. So even if you're at a, quote, um, bad job, it's finding a job that you love to do and loving your job. I can achieve a high paying job. Don't tell yourself that you cannot. You could be spending more than you make. Drop what is needless. Money flows into my life. You gotta stop saying. You got to stop saying all these negative things about your money, about your job. It's like, even if you're at a not so high paying job, it's like, I know I can achieve a high paying job. I know I'm gonna have enough money coming in. You know, when we tell ourselves these negative things, like, um, I've got more money coming out than what's coming in, it is a money blockage. Instead, you could say, I am going to achieve my goals. I know I have to spend money, but I know the universe will provide me that job, that extra income that I'm looking for. I can achieve my goals. These are money blockages, uh, terms that people use. Sagittarius. Some of people believe it's bad to have money. Be happy with money. I embrace having money. Like, some people believe it's bad to have a lot of money. That's got to change. You look at what you do with that money, how many people you can benefit from you having money in an entire community. I mean, when you go to the store and you're able to make purchases and you buy a house and you buy a car and you help people out around you, it is good to have money. You've got to take to, I make my dreams real. This is, there is plenty to go around. I have plenty of money. When you say, I don't have enough, I don't have enough money, that, that creates a blockage. And this is the messages. I release my anxieties about money. And it sounds cliche, Sagittarius, but it works. When you tell yourself all these negative things, those are actually signs and signals to the universe that you don't need any. It's like when you tell yourself, ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait till, you know, setting goals and taking action on those goals. It is not bad to have. Like, a lot of people get this, like, mindset. And they say, caution, 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 spending your money. Caution with this, caution with that. Those are all negative um, attributes to achieving. It's like saying, no, in fact, I can achieve my goals. No, I can have a higher paying job. I can. I am going to take the action and I'm going to get what I want to get because I want to have it. I have goals to do. I have things to achieve. 
I have stuff that I want to get done and I know I'm going to have enough money to do it because I'm going to take the right actions to achieve that. I don't like it when people say, Ooh, careful, careful. You, you sure you got enough money for that? Well, if I didn't, I wouldn't be doing it. Okay. Some things the universe wanted you to know about blocking your flow of money. Okay, Sagittarius. These are your angel numbers. Sagittarius. Turn the page. Move on to the next thing. Completion. The finish line. Full circle. Starting over. Nine, nine, nine. Sacred match. Vibrating in harmony. Collaboration. Keep going. Balance. Planting seeds. Union. Two, two, two. You were intuitively chosen. Angel healing colors just for you. Red, orange, yellow, gold, green, light blue, indigo, dark blue, and purple or violet. These are your intuitively chosen healing colors for you. Completion. Promises are fulfilled ebb and flow of life, achieving your goals, and beginning again, again, number nine, 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 two, 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 nine. Twenty twenty. Clear vision. You get crystal clarity, discernment, perspective, higher understanding. Earth Angel 777, Angels on Assignment, Spiritually, Service Working, Working with Others, Helping Others Achieve a Higher Perspective. When we have a higher perspective, we can teach others to talk about things in their higher perspective. You definitely have divine purposes. Clear Vision. Love messages, please, for Sagittarius. I told you, someone in this connection is gripped with obsessive thoughts thinking that they can't have, that they can't achieve, that they can't do this, that they can't do that. What the hell? You have learned and mastered your spiritual lessons. Release. Letting go. Somebody has an addiction here, an obsession or an addiction that is affecting the relationship, whatever that is. It can be obsession. It can be codependency. It could be a mental mindset. It can be almost anything. Obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So, this is definitely a divine counterpart connection. Bam. Soul Spirit, tell me what you are, Earth Angels. I'm telling you, you're here to be in service. You deserve a higher paying job. Why don't you deserve a higher paying job? You know what I'm saying? Like, why can't it be you? 
especially if you're doing spiritual work and mastering your les lessons, you have crystal clear vision. What instead of saying why not? Why can't I have? Why can't I achieve? Why? Of course I can. Wounds, wounds, wounds. Look at this. See, someone's bitter and angry here. Hidden wounds. This is surrendering. Childhood wounds, I'm telling you. It could actually be the past that is creating this blockages. Someone has an addiction or someone has an obsession What is this? You have crystal clear 2020 vision. But the money flow in. These are gifts of the universe. It's like, I deserve a higher paying job. <laughs> I deserve to have love. I deserved. This is the land of plenty here. I have crystal clear vision. This is truth. This is clarity. 2020 vision. I see clearly. Someone has an addiction. Someone has an obsession. Someone has I gotta release this. the hell is this someone has an addiction to cheating or or lying or an obsession there is hang on I'm 
make my dreams real. You've got to take action. Someone feels like You've got your eyes on the prize here. Hang on, Sagittarius. There's plenty to go around. So someone's greed, someone's greedy with their money. They have a mental mindset. You're achieving your goals, you're beginning again. You know you gotta take action. Sagittarius, you're not comfortable staying at a miserable job. <clears throat> you have the mindset that says, I can achieve my goals, but I have to take action. I can't stay in a dead-end job. I can't stay. I, I, I mean, I always have to hustle, 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 hustle to make money. I don't need to. I can achieve my goals. I can look for another job and I can... Uh, I can achieve my goals. This is someone in the woe is me attitude. Oh, I can't move. I don't have enough money. Uh, I, I can't do this. I don't have enough money. I can't do that. I can't achieve my goals. Man. They complain about their job, but they don't do anything about it. They complain about their relationship. This is with relationships and money. Both. Someone's got an addiction to cheating here. Someone has an addiction to griping. Uh, this is poor me syndrome. This is, I don't have enough money to achieve my goals. I'm in a dead-end job. But, and I, they complain, 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 complain about their job. They complain about their love relationships. They complain about everything. They're complaining. They tell themselves all the reasons why they can't achieve. They stay. They know that they should take action. They know that they should move, but they would rather cry a river. Cry over their problems. Feel sorry for me. I, you know, well, you have mastered your spiritual lessons. Look at you. It's your confidence. It's your go-getter attitude. That's an entrepreneurial mindset. That is someone who's very confident they can achieve their goals. Very confident that they can, you know, possibilities are endless here. You're very giving. You're not cheap with your money, Sagittarius. You're not. 
but you know you can you're gonna have enough money to accomplish your goals this is a negative mindset woe is me pity party i'm in a miserable job but i know i should move but i go in the opposite direction What is this? You're being of service to others. You have mastered your spiritual lessons, Sagittarius. This person sits over here. I told you it's sabotage, 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 sabotage. Negative mindsets, complaining, complaining, worrying, stressing. Uh, they know they got to change their life. Oh, jeez, come off it. I told you, it's just negative, negative talk. This is self-sabotage. This is someone who creates their own endings. Instead of turning the frickin' page, turn the page to the next chapter. Whatever. Who is this? This is freaking. <laughs> oh, you jealous mother effers. Like you are a builder. You are on a solid foundation. You have turned the chapter. You have mastered your spiritual lessons. You are confident. You are building. You are building a new beginning. You know, you are miserable somewhere. You go, I can't do this job. I got to find something else. And you go out and you find something else. I, I find all the reasons why I can achieve my goals. I find all, that's why the money blocks are removed for you. possibilities are endless. It's their own negative thoughts. I'm telling you. You are here as an earth angel and you can have anything you ask for basically. You can achieve everything you want to achieve. You can accomplish your goals. You have a different mentality than this person completely opposite it's because of their childhood wounds This is success. Someone has a fear of success. If they give, then they get afraid they're not going to have enough money. If they give, it's like, I got more money. These are all complaints. Self-sabotage. I got more money. Uh, you know, I, this costs too much. I got to pay too much. I got this to do. I got that to do. You can achieve your goals. You're an action take. You take action. Uh, 
this person won't. No. I'd rather stay stuck in a mental mindset than change my life. I'd rather. I'm comfortable there. Childhood wounds. Maybe it's... I don't know. This is your destiny. This is your fortune. You believe in your good luck. You believe in good fortune. You believe in like... You can achieve what you think you can, and you do. They're also supposed to be an action taker, but they don't. They take no action to change their environment, their job, their circumstances, their family situations. They just sit in the land of poor me, complaining why they can't do what they got to do. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't afford that. Oh, this, oh, that, oh, the, they take no action. In an actual essence, they sabotage. They create their own towers. <laughs> I don't know. They have a addiction to like, or an obsession here with Maybe they're addicted to drama. Conflict. I don't know, man. Poverty mindset. See? Poverty mindset. I got more going out than what's coming in. I can't afford. They tell themselves all the reasons why they can't leave that job. They tell themselves all the re that they're miserable in this relationship they're miserable miserable in their relationship miserable with their money miserable poverty mindset crying over spilt milk the poor me the poor me the poor me bam that's what the blo their blockages are they have formed an addiction an obsession with money like they're continually worrying about it they're continually stressing about it they're continually continually like fuck give it a rest dead end job what I tell you? Instead of taking action.
That's why you're wealthy. Some of you is going to be incredibly wealthy. You see the positive attributes of it. It's like you may use a job as a stepping stone till you get the job that you truly want and desire that you love doing. You have a positive outlook. And positivity creates stuff. You're not afraid to grow. You're not afraid to make a move. You're not afraid. It's like everything is a risk. But uh, this person's like, if nobody moves, nobody gets hurt. I'm just going to stay in this miserable relationship, this miserable job, so I can complain about it. Damn. That's a greedy mindset. Turn the page. Let it go. Humming and on. No, they refuse to take action. They could manifest their dreams. They could turn their page. It's like, you're not afraid to take action. And their butt hurt. Because they want to stay in complain mode. They want to stay, oh my God, I have to work so hard. I have to do this. I have to do that. But they don't do anything to change it. It's an obsession. An addiction is affecting this connection. Stay over there. This is somebody who always settles for less. You have mastered your spiritual lessons. You have. This is the mentor. This is the teacher. It's like, here's the helping hand of the universe.
You'll have mastered your spiritual lessons. You could be working at a job you love just as easily as working at a job you hate. Because you can visualize. You know how to release. Don't stay at a soul-sucking job. Do work that you love. I love my high-paying job. You have to take action toward your goals each day to make your dreams real. Be happy with money. I embrace having money. I'm not going to feel guilty. It's not greedy to have money. Look at all the people you can help having a high-paying job and doing a job you love. You have a good mindset. It's like everybody's had the jobs that they don't, you know, enjoy being at. But the difference is you take action to make your dreams a reality. that you enjoy doing. There's plenty to go around. Your colors are red, orange, yellow, gold, green, light blue, indigo, dark blue, purple, and violets will help you attract the things you want as well and master whatever it is you've got to master Can't stay complaining. If you're in a dead-end job, you gotta take the action to get out of it. 
your twin is facing that. That's why they keep having problem with money after money problems. It is their mindset. They do the same mindset when it comes to love. They may have an obsession with money. They may have an obsession with greed. I don't know. But that is your advice. You can win. You can win. You can achieve your goals. You can get whatever you want to get. You can help who you want to help. You have mastered your lessons. Take care.